I thought about being an astronaut at a very early age, probably when I was, you know, 10 years old. Um, I, I dreamed about working and living in space and never lost sight of that goal. Astronaut Drew Foistel grew up in Lake Orion. He currently serves as the deputy chief of the astronaut office for NASA, making sure the right people are being trained for the jobs that need to be done. This is him working in space. Out of all the people who've orbited our planet, he holds the record for being third in the world for the time spent spacewalking. He's also second when it comes to U.S. astronauts. It's overwhelming. Uh, in many ways to view the earth from that vantage point, to understand our perspective in the universe. You see the sort of the third dimension of space when you're out there understanding that earth is floating beneath you and your spacecraft is orbiting above. One ignition. One of the biggest projects he's working on is our return to the moon. It's known as the Artemis program. Named after the twin sister of Apollo, the mission will land the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2024, exploring more of the surface than ever before. The Orion spacecraft is currently going through tests, making sure all systems are a go and the astronauts are safe. When it comes to landing on the moon, there's a lot to keep tabs on. For the past year and a half, Drew's dealt with everything from spacewalks and suits to facilities and mobility systems. Astronauts need to be prepared. What is it that we need to be successful on the surface of the moon? And um, how do we make sure that the engineers design the equipment and the tools that we need to allow us not only to sur survive, but succeed in the mission task. Grand Rapids native Christina Koch is one of the 18 astronauts on the Artemis team, meaning she is eligible for assignment on an Artemis mission. It may seem like science fiction, but NASA is about to send people back to the moon to live and work. It's just like we've seen in the movies. NASA is working on spacesuits to walk around the surface, unpressurized rovers like ATVs, and pressurized vehicles like a Winnebago, where astronauts can drive around the surface with their clothes, food, communication systems, and resources to explore. We will live permanently on the surface of the moon, and we will have, you know, we've been, we've had an outpost in space for 20 years. Uh, and even before that, the Russians had the Mir space station. Um, these are all developments that are, that are creating a uh, off-planet uh, capability for us as humans. And Drew is helping out with all of it. So to all the kids out there, even from small towns in Michigan, he is proof that no dream is impossible to achieve. I follow the things that made a lot of sense to me, the things that I was good at, um, the things that I enjoyed, and that allowed me to continue down the road to eventually um, get all the pieces of my life lined up to make me eligible to to uh, to be competitive in the astronaut program. For Fox 17 News, I'm Ryan Cummings.